And juggling's another one of my favorite things With left legs and right legs and doubles to boot Over the top, sideways and out Half a mess just for you Oh, return catch, ha <laughs> ha Anyways, our next tutorial for the day Hello YouTube and YouTube viewers, it is Cody Williams again And today I'm going to show you guys Princess Belle this is the design I use for most of my princesses, especially Big Bell, because uh, she is my favorite. Yes, guys can have favorite princesses too, which is why I'm dressed a little more rock and roll today, because I gotta look somewhat masculine when making you a princess. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Alright, so, um, blue you're gonna need, uh, since it is Bell, you need a clear 260, and a blush 350, and a yellow 350, along with your standard mocha browns and blushes and yellows. Um, those are the three kind of rare balloons that you'll need. Because I know a lot of entertainers don't like stocking Diamond Clear 260s. I love them. I use them a lot. So, alright. Uh, we'll start with the dress since it's the hardest. Well, most complicated to, to teach next to the rose in the glass jar. Um, I'm going to do a different design. Not the one I showed you guys last time. Alright, so, since I don't feel like straining myself and blowing these up, I use my good old-fashioned Magellan pump. Now, the first part, you're going to blow up three yellow 260s um, about all the way. But it's extremely important that you have them all equal length. We're going to do the flower uh, weave. So if you're using a mag pump or mouth inflating, the best way to get all equal is to grab each balloon at the same spot and inflate till it touches your fingers and make sure you burp them all evenly. So what I'm going to do is inflate to there. Small burp. Stick to the painting like usual. Sorry for rambling so long in the beginning, but you know what? You know that comes from me. It's going to happen. So, next one. Good thing. Small burp. I'm going to show you a trick for that one. Actually, I realized it's stretched out a little more than the other one, so it's going to be a little bit longer. I'm going to show you a trick for making an equal length. If that you do, if you're off by a can inch or so, there's a little trick you can do. So, if you're not mouth inflating or using a pump that requires one hand, uh, if you want to make it equal lengths, if you're using a hand pump, just count your pumps. Each one should be like six pumps or seven pumps. Uh, that's an appropriate bow well. And... Yeah, some of these are all things. This one I told you earlier is stretched out. Yeah. You know, I might just not use this one. Occasionally you get a bad balloon. No matter what you do, it's going to be a little different. This is one of those. This one is just stretched out. And when I got it, it was really thin. Occasionally you get those. It's okay. I would prefer not to edit two inches off. So, this feels better. Alright, now. You want to tie all three of them together. This is how I do it, because it's easy to get all the right lengths. So once you get them all tied together, lie them all down, and make sure they're all the same. If you have one that's a little bit shorter than the others, pull it, tug it. It actually makes it longer. And get all the same length. Once they're all the same length, tie the three together again. There are other ways of doing this, I know. Uh, some people just like to tie each one end-to-end -end as loops, and then... Kind of make a big flower out of it. Nope, this one. Right here. Gotcha. Nope, this one. You. There. You. Hey, go there. Got it. Sorry. <laughs> Struggled a little bit there. Um, as I was saying before my AD kicked in, some people just like to make three loops and connect them. I tie all the ends together to make sure they're all the right length. And then you can just start securing them so you have three loops tied together. And don't worry, we're not making the bus capacitor work over. Now, yes, I know, I'm rocking aviators the whole video. I just really like aviators if you couldn't tell. From the alien video. It's gonna be a new signature. One of my favorite balloons, I'm wearing aviators. <laughs> this is one of my favorite. And it's gonna be a long video, so I'm not minding rambling, because uh, this is one of my favorite designs I'm giving you guys. So, take rambling. It's okay, it's healthy. Okay, moving on. Now then, find the center, make one big mega piece. Now, when you do this, make sure your hands touch, and you wanna pull apart and twist. The less squeaky, the less likely to pop. Now here's the part that's going to get very, very confusing. It took me a very long time to learn this, the flower weave. You're going to go over under. I'm not going to go too in detail because there are lots of other tutorials on how to do this. Um, I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm going to close for you guys. It's a little easier. You're going to put, you're going to swap this balloon with this balloon and make a primer doing that. So you're going to go over, under, over, under, over, under. So what I can do is grab this one and that, switch spots, grab the next section, do the same thing. Next section, do the same thing. Next section, same thing. Next section, same thing. You get the last one. It's a little harder to figure out. I'm going to swap those out. Uh-oh. It's hard to figure out. I did the wrong one. There we go. 
Okay. The goal should have six on top, six on bottom, like this. Uh, I'm really sorry, it's all I can get in detail for this tutorial. Um, uh, if you can't do that, then just do what we did earlier, just don't do this step right here. But um, it's, it's pretty tough to get into this. Um, I'll make a tutorial after this one, just on flowers. Um, that way I'll get a little bit better than that. Uh, go to uh, Warren, I forgot his YouTube name. Uh, Warren's got a great tutorial on how to do this. This is how I learned him and my friend Iris from Northern California taught me how to do this. So, so you know, this is really confusing. I, this is the only thing that ever makes me mad, was learning this. This is the only time I ever got flushed with balloons and actually like, popped things out of anger. Learning the flower weave. Now, next piece. You're going to need your 350, old 360, yellow. Uh, I blow them out with these because it just drains the battery too fast. So, I'm going to work after this. Uh, the air doesn't matter, your brick lot is off. Make two small loop twists. Make sure you lock twist it. Go each one about th three to four fingers. These are going to be your shoulder blades. Oh, they got too small. There we are. Like so. About seven fingers, if you want to guess it. It's going to be the body. Break this off. Don't bite balloons from children. It gives them bad ideas, bad influences. I do all the time. Now then, we're going to connect here to here. My favorite way of doing this is bringing my hand through the bottom of the skirt. Giggity. And slide it through. And honestly, you don't have to tie it. This fits in really strong. If you want to tie it, you can. I usually don't. I've never had it coming done yet. Because I leave as soon as I finish, you know. Okay. And so, next piece. Kind of evil, you know. Like, here's your blue. Bye. Pop down here. Mm, evil. Okay. Here is the dress. Full of metal. Now her face. You. Go. There. Awesome. All right. Blush. Uh, you could feel some Teletex. <laughs> uh, now you need some mocha brown. Mocha brown. There's mocha brown brown. Brown chicken brown cow. Ah! By the way, <laughs> what's your difference between a brown chicken and a brown cow? Wait. Wow. I just messed that up. I'm not deleting this. I'm leaving this in there. <laughs> what does a brown chicken and a brown cow have in common? Brown chicken brown cow. I twist for tips. Good way to get in that line, by the way, if you guys ever want to use that. It's a good corny joke. Twist into, I twist for tips. They laugh. They give you a dollar. It's awesome. All right. Now, sorry. ADD. If I ever make a DVD, ugh, if I ever make a DVD for you guys, don't worry. I, I won't be like this. I'll actually be boring and normal. So, but YouTube, it's like my, my balloon blog in a way. Ooh. Make a one bubble. Followed by an ear twist. Grab the knot. Bring it down. Lift up. Pinch and twist. Ear twist. Followed by a four-finger loop twist. And you're going to connect this uh, monkey junk here to the top of your section. Cut about five fingers. Twist them together. Now bring the brown up to the ear twist. Twist it. Back down to the top. Back down to the bottom. Huh? Squeeze down. Grab. I don't know how much air to put in it, but mm, play with it. Shoot about six fingers. Um... Grab this, and tail, wrap it into the neck, neck for hair, make a neck. Now, you don't want it to be fully as, uh, you don't want the neck to be as big as the head. Um, so when you twist it off, don't use the full width of the 350. Make the little look smaller, so it looks almost like a 260. Edit it, you don't need that anymore at all. You guys ever wonder why I throw balloons over there? There's just a box full of scrap balloons right there. It's incredible. Just so you know. Here's your head. Now, attach the head to the dress, like so. Bite it on. All set. Cool. Now these arms. Oh, I'm gonna blush out of there. Okay. Now, I do like to give my princesses a bust line. So make two ear twists. Do them separate. Don't do the uh, don't do two bubbles and split them. Don't do that. Because you want them to be pretty pliable and you want to pull them apart. So. Don't do that part. Just do two separate ear twists. Connect that to the dress. This is going to be a very long tutorial for this. I apologize. But I have a YouTube partner, so I can do this more than 10 minutes. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you couldn't see me do shifty eyes, huh? Anyways. All right. So put your twist to the back, your twist to the front. Some organization. 
something I know nothing about. <laughs> now you do a pinch twist for the elbow. So you bend the balloon, pinch the ear out, let the ear fill back in. And now do two ear twists. And then reverse engineer for the other side, another pinch twist. Edit the size you want, break it. And wrap that in. Whatever you want to do, it to make sure it's nice and secure. Now it's all about the organization again. And this is the best of quality of my princesses. Because I made one totally a little too big. That's okay. All right, so here are her hands and body. Technically, when making a test, you can call this it. You can be done. Because um, you don't really need to add the legs. You can say her dress is so long, it touches the floor, and you can't see her shoes, things like that. But since this is going to be my long tutorial yet, I am going to add some stuff for you guys. So we're going to give some high heel shoes. I have a few techniques for this. Um, when I make Minnie Mouse, I use the other technique. Uh, I used to do this the way I'm referring to. Um, I want to show you an easier way of doing it. That was a total ramble of no reason. I have two ways of doing high heel shoes. I'm showing you the easier one. Okay. That's red. It's golden rod. I like to make a little different color for the dress. All right. So, my way of doing it is making two separate shoes and then building legs up like that. Um, it, it's just more tiring. It looks better, but it's not as durable either. Now then. May kick one leg, come down right below the dress, push bubble, twist off one inch of the uh, golden rod, so you should have this effect. All right, now twist four fingers, bring the yellow back, golden rod play. Now you do some balloon manipulation, squeeze the air up, and try to get this to back, back to heel with no air, so you just kind of bring it back, so you have this little tiny section. Now do a two finger bubble, connect both of these, Golden rod and blush together. Now, do a four finger. Don't let go of this one yet. So it should have this effect. Bring the golden rod back to this twist. That locks it. Make a one inch bubble for the other heel. Edit it. That's a hard way to do it one hand, by the way. Practice that. It's kind of fun. All right, now, more balloon manipulation. Bring it back. Connect it, and bring the other leg up the same size. Tie it. Tear it. All right. Now, this design is not my own for the shoes. My design was so much more complicated. This was from another YouTuber. We are new. Sorry. Okay. Rhino shoes. Okay. This is like hour five in the tutorial. All right. Um. Next, we're gonna do some detail work. Uh, where's my golden rods? Hey there. I like to add a sash around the waist just because you can notice sometimes if you're making yours, if you're making it with me, you'll notice that you have kind of like this gap around where the dress, uh, the 350 meets the 260. So I like to get rid of that. Um, this way doing this. Okay. Just do a loop twist, about two fingers, fall by an ear twist, fall by another loop twist. It's going to make a mini bow. We're not going to add little bottom pieces just because it gets a little too much in there for how small details you want it. You want to kind of thin, stretch it. Uh, if you use actually a 160, it'll be even better. But uh, if you know me, you know I hate 160. So, connect this around the waist. That gives you this cute little sachet. Just for some little detail work there. Now, we're going to do the next hardest part, the final part. Uh, we're going to make a rose in a glass jar using only 260s. Um, 
it sounds scary, I know. But uh, I got it down sometimes. All right, blow up your green 260. Uh, you just need a tiny bit of air. <laughs> All right. After tight knot, squeeze your air toward the knot so that it's nice and kind of tight and secure. I know you're always taught soft knot, soft knot, soft knot, which makes the knot a little bit harder today. Um, but you want to work it out because you want to get rid of as much of the nozzle as you can. Now make a small bubble, about half an inch. And let me get closer to you guys for a second here. Cool. How you doing, YouTube? All right, now make an ear twist followed by a split twist. So these should be very, very small. See that small natural blue itself? Now make another half inch bubble, ear twist it, and split twist that. I'm giving away my secret, secret, secret balloon now. Uh, get your red 260. This is my juice. Yeah. Come on, I'm stuttering. Hold on one second, guys. Hang on one second. Ah, oh, yeah. It all makes sense, doesn't it, now? All right, now. So, my secret, secret 260 on the rose in a glass jar. My own design, yeah. Highly inspired by some of this. Kidding, no. All right, now, you're going to do a half-inch bubble again. You're basically repeating what you just did. And split. Do the same thing again. You're repeating what you did earlier. Half-inch bubble. Ear twist. Split twist. When I make Princess Tiana, I do something very similar to this for the frog. I make the frog out of 1, 260, and they're all ear twists and split twists, and it's like this big. It's kind of cool. I want to say that. It's kind of the same idea. That's where I got the idea from. All right, now connect these two sections to so hold them nice and close. Connect two. Now manipulate the balloon so that you have. Here, break the red off, by the way. Throw that red off one. Your split twist basically form little knots. Now, the best way of doing this, I like to have for the red one. Here, get as close to you guys again so you can see this. I like to have for the red one three on bottom, one on top for the rosebud. And for the green for the leaves, I have all four of the split twists on the bottom. Okay, cool. Now, cut off the end. Clear out. Stretch it down. You, you want to be very evened out. Okay, now put some more air in it. Not going to inflate. This one, um, it's easy to do with your mouth. Just push it to right before it starts to inflate. Slide down a little bit so it's nice and firm. Tie a knot. And you should have kind of a firm little balloon here. That's going to hold it up inside the glass jar. Okay, so... The mini mini rose. I'm a little small actually. I want a little big. I mean, I want small, shorter than that. Okay. Better. Okay. Too long was kind of funny. Okay. Now, mini rose. So you're gonna put this in here. Yeah. Okay. You know, times I want to take off my glasses during this tutorial, and I'm just like dead set and keeping them on. I told you guys know that. Like, it's even annoying me now. Just, just so you know. Okay, now, so, you're going to put a tiny bit of air. Um, like that much, don't tie it. A little less. Okay, um, hold this down while you do basically a series of poodle tails where you force the air up, and force the air up the balloon without letting go of the nozzle. You have to have the balloon inflate to the very end, like so. Once you have it there, inflate the rest of the way so it inflates backwards. <laughs> Tie it off. Now, the next trick I do for this, because you need all the help you can get with this sometimes. Uh, fold this up so that it can't go back into where you came from. And force the air really firm while almost popping to the very end. You want to expand as fat as you can. Okay. So it's a little bigger 260 right now, and this is a little smaller 260 right now. So it's actually going to fit. So, keeping this folded up, this trick, I'm dead serious, for stuffing is in the elbow. Put this in the elbow like so. Now you can stop the air from folding back in. And begin to stop. Let me get nice close for you guys. You can see this. Okay. How are you doing? So keep it nice and firm in the end. Get it started. Once you get two fingers in, once you get your right hand, say my right hand's holding the flower. Hold on. Let's do this nice and slow. Once my right hand's holding the flower, gets in two fingers deep. Once they touch the balloon, my left hand, point your thumb, grab the back of the rose. Oh, well, that's a very bad thing to happen. It pops. Oh, no. 
Yeah, you usually when you stuff hitting, you want to do it once. Here's what that clears. Okay. So, repeat. <sighs> don't want it to do that. Okay, awesome. Now, these fingers holding it, you can do this way if you want, I just prefer this way. I, once I get my two fingers to touch, my other two grab it, we'll also reposition this. My pointer then pushes into the balloon some more. Once you get that part in, it's all downhill. It's a swan. Okay, you then push, push, grab, and you're basically doing traditional seating. Just like regular stuffing, just like tutorial, I should you four fours in a glass jar. But it's just a lot harder to do with 260s and just takes a lot of practice. Now, we're going to pop this balloon very loudly on the count of three. Three! Sorry, I'm dyslexic. I should have warned you. Sorry. Alright. Now then, you have a cocoon created. Reinflate the balloon. Now that it's inside out, all that nice yummy taco powder on the outside. <laughs> You have the mini rose in the glass jar. I don't know how long this tutorial is going to be, guys. I don't even know if they'll let me upload this anymore. All right. But someone had to get a 350 princess. You know, someone really had to ask for it. And I was like, yeah! Sounds like a good tutorial. Okay. Our princess from earlier, lovely Princess Belle. Rose. so it looks pretty. Okay. We're actually done now, guys. We have the lovely Princess Belle holding a rose inside of a glass jar. And usually I can knock this out in like mm, less than 10 minutes at a, rest, at a party or whatever. Maybe five. If I'm really booking it. Anyways, you guys have a great day today. A better tomorrow. God bless you guys. Have fun. Thank you for watching. And questions, comments, concerns, complaints, whatever. I'm always here. Have fun, guys. See you later.